Horses and Machine Guns, British Empire Cavalry on the Western Front of the Great War The Western Front was the main theater of war during World War I. The Western Front took place from August 4, 1914 to November 11, 1918 which involved two main parties, namely the Allied Alliance, Britain, Italy, France and Russia, and the Central Alliance, Germany, Austria-Hungary, Turkey. Between 1915 and 1917, there were several major offensives along this front. The attack used heavy artillery bombardment and mobilized infantry advance. Among the attacks, the most devastating was the Battle of Verdun, 1916, killing 700,000 people. The Battle of the Somme, 1916, killed over a million people, and the Battle of Passchendaele, 1917, killed about 600,000 people. After much bloodshed, a truce was finally made. Terms of peace were agreed with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. At the outbreak of World War I, 1914, the German army carried out a modified version of the Schlieffen Plan, designed to attack France through Belgium. The objective was to encircle the French army on the German border. Soldiers under German generals Alexander von Kluck and Karl von Bülow invade Belgium on August 4, 1914. The first battle in Belgium was the Siege of Liege which lasted from 5 August to 16 August. Liege was well fortified and surprised the German army under von Bülow with its level of resistance. German heavy artillery was able to destroy the main fortifications in just a few days. Following the fall of Liege, the Belgian capital, Brussels, also fell to the Germans on 20th of August. In addition to the Belgian siege, there was another siege at Namur, which lasted around 20 August 23, 1914. In Namur, the French have five armies stationed on their borders. The French planned a war offensive named Plan 17, intended to take Alsace-Lorraine. On 7 August, seven corps attacked Alsace with the intention of taking Mulhouse and Colmar. The main offensive was launched on August 14, as the 1st and 2nd armies attacked sereberg morange and Lorraine. In accordance with the Schlieffen plan, the Germans withdraw. However, the German reserves again put up a fight. In the end, the German army managed to wipe out Belgium, executing civilians, and destroying villages. The German army was 70 kilometers from Paris during the First Battle of the Marne that took place from 6 to 12 September. French and British forces forced the Germans to retreat by exploiting the gap that had appeared between the First and Second Armies, ending the German advance towards France. The German army withdrew north of the Aisne River and entrenched itself there, establishing a static western front that lasted for the next three years. From 19 October to 22 of November, German troops continued to attempt their final breakthrough in 1914 during the Battle of Ypres. In this battle, Germany fought France by using a lethal chemical weapon, namely water gas at Ypres. However, the success of this offensive was prevented, as the Allies countered it by introducing gas masks. After the battle, Erich von Falkenhayn also considered that it was impossible for Germany to win the war. Finally, on November 18, 1914, he asked for a diplomatic solution, but Chancellor Theobald von batemann hallweg Paul von Hindenburg, and Erich Ludendorff did not agree. Between the coast and the Vosges there is a bulge to the west of the Moat line, called the Noyon Bulge for French town. Joffrey's 1915 plan was to attack the protrusions on both sides to cut them off. 
The 4th Army had attacked Champagne from December 20, 1914 to March 17, 1915. The attack was made by four divisions along the entire front, preceded by a bombardment storm that lasted 35 minutes. In resistance, the Germans mobilized military reserves and counterattacked. However, as the British had exhausted a third of their ammunition provisions, they failed. In 1915, special aircraft were introduced for air combat. On April 1st, French pilot Roland Garros became the first person to shoot down an enemy plane using a machine gun. A few weeks later, Garros crash-landed behind German lines. The plane was captured and sent to Dutch engineer Anthony Fokker, who made rapid progress. The machine gun was synchronized with the propeller so that it could fire at intervals when the propeller blade was outside the line of fire. Since then, the development of fighter aircraft has also increased. The Second Battle of Artois was also called the last Entente Offensive of the Spring. On May 9, the French 10th Army attacked Germany after six days of bombardment. Knowing these conditions, the Germans counterattacked and pushed the French back to their starting point, as the French reserves had been detained. In September 1915, the Entente Allies launched another offensive, with the Third Battle of Artois, Second Battle of Champagne by the French and the British at Luz. France itself had been preparing for this action during the summer. The French also had an easier time attacking the British. Finally, the bombs were fired on 22nd of September. On 25th of September the French launched their main attack and made good progress despite entwining barbed wire and machine gun posts. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.